What's up guys, it's Glover Quinn, former Pro Bowl defensive back. Here in the DB room today, we're talking film review. We got cover three, okay? I'm gonna go through, show a couple clips of cover three so you guys can see it on the field. We've looked at it on the whiteboard. We've looked at it on a chalkboard. Now, let's look at it on the field so you can get a little better picture of what cover three actually looks like, okay? Let's cut to it. Okay, so let's take a look at this clip right here. We got the San Francisco 49ers against the Pittsburgh Steelers, okay? San Francisco 49ers generally run a lot of cover three, so found a cool little clip just kind of showing you what cover three looks like, different guys getting to their zones and being able to break on the ball, okay? So let's take a look at it. So you see Pittsburgh come out right here now. They are in basically a condensed set, okay? The quarterback is on the center. Back is in the backfield. We got this tight end down here. He's in that grave digger that we talked about, okay? So we're not expecting him to go vertical. These guys generally don't like to go vertical from close in here, okay? We got stacks over here. We're expecting, based on game plan, what we've, what we've scouted out, maybe we'll get a guy that go vertical. They might try to, you know, run something like this right here, but not so likely okay so in our cover three what we talked about we're gonna have this corner he's playing this whole third we got this safety he's playing that third we got this corner he's playing that whole third okay those are our deep third zones we got our underneath guys okay got this guy right here he's gonna buzz out to that curl flat we got this guy he's gonna buzz out to the hook curl this guy is gonna buzz out to the hook curl, and then he is gonna buzz out to the curl flat, okay? That's gonna give us our four underneath guys along with our three deep cover guys, okay? That's what we have. So let's look at the play. So the cool thing about zone that we talked about is we don't have to run with that motion, okay? Those guys go, they look like they were going to, right? But that could have been a part of their disguise, okay? It could have been a part of their disguise, okay? Sometimes you do that to make it look like cover one, right? Then I say cover three can look exactly like cover one. You just have to understand what part of the field that you are responsible for, okay? Wherever you end up at, okay? So let's take a look at this play as it, as it goes. Look at these guys. All these guys are getting to their area. This guy here is playing his deep third. He's in his middle third. Sherman's down here in his bottom third, okay? This guy's out here. He's playing his curl to flat. He's out here in his hook area. He's here in his hook. He's here widening out to his curl to flat area, okay? So that is great underneath coverage. Look at Sherman. He got his hips open back to the sideline. So he got his vision in here at the quarterback. The corner up top the same way. He got his vision here at the quarterback, okay? Uh, linebackers got their vision, eyes, 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 eyes to the quarterback. So we're all seeing the quarterback, so we should all be breaking on the same thing, okay? Let's talk about our, our verticals. Sherman only has one vertical threat down here. This middle safety, he only has one vertical threat, and then this corner up top only has one vertical threat, okay? We only got three guys going deep. It fits right into what we're trying to do with our cover three. Sherman gets a good read on this guy. He's able to put his foot in the ground right there. And now he's sending the ball. This linebacker sending the ball. This linebacker sending the ball. This guy sending the ball. All these guys are sending the ball and they're all able to break on that ball right there. So if it gets tipped up in the air, then we can have a play on it. Sherman's able to get there and knock it down. Boom, that's a good stop right there in cover three. Send the curl, being able to drive back down on the curl and make the play. Let's take a look at it from the backside. Go in motion. Next thing you know, boom. Quarterback is looking at it the whole time. You can see this quarterback, he's clearly looking right over here. These guys should be coming this way. You can see his body motion is heading that way, right? All these guys are moving 
on this quarterback look right there, okay? Quarterback is looking. The next thing you know, he lets that ball go. Look at this guy. Boom, he's gone. He's gone. Obviously, we've seen Sherman breaking from the other angle. And now, boom, we get a play on the ball. That's a good pass breakup for us right there. That is what it looks like, okay? Let's look at it again in fast motion. The whole play itself. They go to motion, comes back. We back off. We're in our zone. We see it. Break. Boom. Pass break up off the field, okay? Off the field. If that was a third down, that was first down. Let's take a look, let's take a look at another play, okay? We got another play. We got another play right here. It looks like the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Cincinnati Bengals, okay? Cincinnati Bengals. Cincinnati comes out in an empty set, okay? Empty set. They got the they got receiver down here, receiver here, got a tight end in that grave digger look. Like they got a backup here and they got another receiver up here, okay? So when guys are watching film, we don't really classify this as empty. Why? Because this guy is in a square stance, he's probably blocking. This guy is so tight to the line, he's probably blocking. There's no difference in that formation and them having the tight end back here in the backfield and the running back back there in the backfield. They're just there to block for the quarterback, okay? They just disguise it, make it look different so that you go maybe into an empty check as opposed to your max protection checks, okay? So, we can clearly see this guy's ready to go out. This guy's lean forward, ready to go out. He's ready to go out. Those are the guys that are ready to go out and run a play, okay? So, we got cover three down here. These guys are showing a cover two shell, right? They're showing a cover two shell. It's third 11. Third and 11 on this play. So we're not worrying about anything shallow. We definitely want to play things high to low, okay? So we should have this corner right here going deep. This corner right here got that third. Now these safeties, this is, what we're, this is why we're showing too deep because we don't want the quarterback to know which one of us is rotating, okay? We don't want him to know. But based off of this play, since I've already seen it, this guy, he's going to come down and he's gonna go to the middle. And you say, well, this safety is inserting, he's not playing this hook curl out here, okay? This is what happens, okay? This is what happens. It's all zones, right? We got flats, we got hook curl, we got curl flats, we got that on both sides, okay? So if this guy come out here and cover that curl flat, we get one of these guys up here to cover that curl flat. We get one of these guys here to cover that hook we could send one of these guys, and now this safety comes in, and he covers that hook area, okay? He covers that hook area, and we got all our zones covered. We still got four guys underneath, and we still got three guys deep. Let's look at it and see how they did it, okay? Go through his checks. Now you see the running back going to the backfield. Like I said, he wasn't going out anyway. Let's watch the tight end. He's blocking. We knew that, okay? Now, let's look. All these guys are in their zones. He busted out here. This safety dropped in right here. Obviously, they're playing it deeper because of the down and distance. He's playing that hook. He's out to that curl flat area over there. We got our corner here. He's deep. Our safety here is playing the middle. And then, boom, we got our corner up there. He's deep. Playing the thirds, okay? We're just playing three deep coverage okay so this guy right here his job is really to stay in between the number two receiver and the number three receiver that's going to put him right there in that hook area so you can see him getting ready to pick up this guy coming in well this corner is responsible for this third so as this guy go in and this guy go deep now this corner has to cover this guy this guy falls off on him he's playing here he's playing here this corner here can match this guy this is only deep threat if anybody comes through the middle, the safety is there to help them out, okay? Safety is there to help them out. But like I said, want to play at high to low. This is what they like to do. They want this guy to bite up on this little cheese right here, and they bring this guy in right behind them so the quarterback can throw that ball in there and get that first down. They do a good job. They don't bite up on it, and we get a chance at a play up top, okay? So let's look at this up top. Let's look at this up top, okay? 
Take a look at our corner. We got Joe Hayden up top. He got a good press. He opens his hip. Now, you watch. Same thing. Hip is open. He's playing it deep, right? He's staying in his pedal so he can read the quarterback. He opens up. This receiver's getting ready to break. He's seeing the quarterback throw the ball. He got his foot in the ground right here, getting ready to break. Now, we got to shoot you straight in the DB room, Joe. We got to finish this play right here. We need these picks, okay? We got to have these picks. Great break. We just got to have that pick, okay? He knew it. He knew it. He make that play most of the time, okay? See the quarterback? He's checking. He's giving signals. You can see him. Next thing you know, he comes out. Now he looks, okay? This is something real important I want us to show right here. Watch this quarterback as he's going in his break, as, as he's going in his, in, his, in his drop. He's looking down the middle of the field, okay? Quarterbacks cannot throw the ball as they're running backwards. Watch where his eyes go when he hit his back foot, okay? Watch where his eyes go when he hit his back foot. Back foot, eyes. Now he's ready to throw the ball. So if you're a middle field safety and you're reading the quarterback, when he comes out and he's just looking somewhere, we don't want to move right now. Wait till he hit his back foot. When he hit his back foot and he steps up, now he's ready to throw. We should be breaking that way, being ready to make a play on the ball, okay? Joe sees it. We saw it from the other angle. Joe saw it. He's ready to break. And Andy Dalton got lucky that we didn't finish this play, okay? Got to have this play finished, okay? That's a great play by Joe. Let's look at it one more time so we can see it all in full motion. Quarterback check. Boom, third and 11. We playing everything. How to low. We got our safety dropping in. Guys pushing out. We playing cover three. Great break up top. We just got to finish the play, okay? Just got to finish the play. Got one more play. Let's take a look at it real quick. So on this play right here, we have Jalen Ramsey and the LA Rams against the uh, San Francisco 49ers. I think Jalen had, you know, recently came over to the Rams. Uh, I think uh, Wade Phillips was the D coordinator, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. I'm not real sure, but I know this is a cover three clip and Jalen is coming over. I know Wade did a lot of matching in his system. So we're going to see Jalen. Somebody's telling him right now that he needs to come over. Let me change this color. I don't know why I hate that blue like that. Bring it down. Let me get it to some yellow. Okay. So you're going to see Jalen Ramsey come over and get lined up correctly. See him right here. Kittle comes over. Okay, so now we're playing cover three, right? We're playing cover three. This is a this is a corners over cover three. But what did I talk about? In cover three, we have zones. Okay, so let's talk about our zones. We got corner up here or a safety. Whoever this guy is, he's responsible for that third, right? We got the middle. He's responsible for that third. And then we got a corner down here. He's responsible for that third. So with this corner being over right here, more than likely, this is a safety up top that's playing third, third, and then a corner down bottom playing a third, okay? So then what do we have underneath? Hook curl. I mean, we got curl flat down bottom, hook curl, hook curl, and then this guy up here will probably give us a curl to flat up top, okay? It's just, it just all depends on who we're playing, how we want to play it that week, but we gotta know where we are so we can have our zones covered, okay? So on this play, you're gonna see exactly the route that I talked about and I was going through the install where you have a guy come to the flat. Uh, I think Kittle went to the flat. Let me draw it up correctly. I think you're gonna have Kittle come to the flat, then you're gonna have this guy run the seven, and then you're gonna have this guy going vertical, okay? And what are they trying to do? They're trying to get whoever this curl flat defender is to bite up on this flat route so they can hit this seven cut behind them, okay? So let's take a look at it. So now let's look, okay? We got third here. 
Third here, third here. You wonder why all those guys are coming over here? There are no threats up here. There's no reason for these guys to be over there. There's nothing going on, so we can push our coverage over here, okay? We got our curl flat out here. We got a hook curl, hook curl, curl flat up top. Maybe one of these guys are doing something wrong. Maybe one of these is supposed to be going, and we got our curl flat defender up here, okay? I don't know exactly what they had going on underneath, but I know curl flat, probably curl flat up here, hook curl, hook curl, he probably was supposed to go, okay? But let's look at this technique down here by Jalen Ramsey, okay? Remember I said this curl flat defender, he has to play this kind of like a cover two corner. He's in the same scenario right now. He got a guy in front, he got a guy behind him. If he bites up on this guy, the quarterback is looking, guess where he's gonna throw it? He's gonna throw it out here, okay? He's gonna throw it out there to the deep route. Jalen does a great job of widening. Let's take a look at it. He does a great job of pushing through to get this guy taken care of if he wanted to go to the flat, open his hip up. So now, if he try to throw it to this one, Jalen can just run underneath and catch it. If he don't throw it, he put his foot in the ground and he come back downhill to make that play. But Jimmy tries to force it in. Jalen comes back, makes a great play. Makes a great play for the DBs, okay? Great play. Let's look at it from the back side. Take a look at it from the back. You can see they're all communicating. Everybody's communicating. Things are going on, okay? Things are going on. Like I said, I think this guy was supposed to come in and blitz right here or come off this edge to give us a four-man rush. But nevertheless, we make the play. Watch the quarterback. He's looking, right? He's hitting his back foot. His eyes are going. He's looking at this guy the entire time, okay? He's looking at that guy the entire time. He see he's behind this guy. Jalen pushed through good enough so that it cleared up a little vision for this quarterback to think this guy is open. And next thing you know, he tried to put that ball in there. And Jalen comes back and makes a great athletic play, okay? Makes a great athletic play. And then we're always trying to get to the house. Still form anybody who come. We don't play no games here as DBs. Let's take a look at it in full action. Get Jalen over to where he needs to be. He comes over, he's playing the curl flat, he pushes through, play it high to low, he tried to throw it to the high, we get an interception right there. That's a big time play from a big time corner, okay? That's a big time play from a big time corner. So, as you guys can see, as you guys can see, cover three, simple, right? It's a zone coverage, we don't have to run with motion. If we run with motion, per your scheme, you just have to understand, am I the curl flat defender? Am I the hook curl defender? Am I a deep thirds defender? What defender am I, okay? And we can get the job done. Our curl flat defenders, if it was against a run, you're the contained guys on the outside. Same run fits as man-to-man -man coverage, okay? It can look exactly like cover three. I mean, it can look exactly like cover one, and a lot of teams do that. That's why they'll motion with a guy, run with a guy, just so they make it look like cover one because they know it can look the same thing, but it's cover three, and we can confuse the quarterback. We can get our run fits. We can confuse the quarterback, hit our zone, hit our landmarks, and make plays on the ball. So those three good plays from three good corners. We saw a great play by Sherm. We saw a great play by Joe Hayden and a great play by Jalen Ramsey, okay? So that's the film review of cover three. Take a look at it. Look back at the whiteboard put it all together, you should have a better idea of how to play cover three and have a better understanding of cover three. We'll go into some more detailed stuff a little later on, but that's just the basics of cover three. Until next time, you're in the DB room, man. Peace.